and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified Law 13 of 2022, which amends a number of provisions of Law 13 of 1975 on regulating pensions and retirement benefits for government empl um, employees following the approval and issuance by the Shura and Representatives Councils. His Majesty also ratified Law 14 of 2022 on amending a number of provisions of the Social Insurance Law promulgated by decree by law. 24 of 1975. His Majesty the King ratified Law 15 of 2022 on amending a number of provisions of the law regulating pensions and retirement benefits for officers and members of the Bahrain Defense Force and Public Security promulgated by decree by Law 11 of 1976. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with several heads of Ramadan Majlises at Rifa'a Palace. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahrain's citizens are at the core of the Kingdom's development plans, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's relentless COVID-19 mitigation efforts, which have prioritized the health of citizens and residents and protected the economy. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister added that Bahrain's comprehensive COVID-19 mitigation approach, which includes an economic stimulus package, has elevated the economic impact of the pandemic. His Royal Highness recognized the concerted efforts of Team Bahrain and noted that the Kingdom's inclusivity, transparency, community spirit and freedom of movement were key to a successful pandemic response. His Royal Highness commented that the Kingdom will overcome challenges through unity as, a, as it recovers from the pandemic and builds towards a prosperous future. His Royal Highness noted that the Economic Recovery Plan will assist with Bahrain's recovery from the pandemic by creating promising opportunities for citizens. The plan's projects will grow vital sectors, increase Bahrain's comp competitiveness and create an open investment environment. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister concluded by stressing the importance of consolidating efforts towards economic recovery and addressing future challenges. For their part, the heads of the Kingdom's Ramadan Majlises expressed their gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his continued commitment to engage with citizens during the holy month of Ramadan. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and several senior officials also attended. The Isa Cultural Center launched the book Sakhir in the Lung of Bahrain by researcher Mubarak Amr al Ammari, which chronicles the natural architectural and economic aspects of Sakhir. The event was held at the center's headquarters in the presence of the southern governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Minister of Information Ali Ramehi, the Deputy Chairman of the center's Board of Trustees, Sheikh Dr. Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Executive Director of the center, and a group of intellectuals and thinkers. The southern governor delivered a speech in which he expressed pride in the support that Sakhir receives from His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness said that the support contributed to maintaining Sakhir's prosperity, noting the support the various governorates receive from His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the development it witnessed. His Highness affirmed that Sakhir is a source of pride, along with the villages and cities of the Kingdom, which constitute a prominent sign of the authenticity of Bahrain's past and present. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the content and chapters of the book, noting the contributions of the Isa Cultural Center and the cultural and documentary fields. In this regard, His Highness commended the role of the Ministry of Information Affairs in highlighting the various historical and cultural aspects of the kingdom, praising the distinguished effects of the author of the book.
The Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, the Waqf Endow Endowment Fund, and the Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance, BIBF, signed a cooperation agreement with, to train judges. On the occasion, the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, stressed the importance of continuous specialized training in the development of judicial work, praising the cooperation between the Ministry and the BIBF and providing the necessary training for judges in the financial, banking and technical fields. The signing of the agreement stems from Bahrain's plans to consolidate the elements that attract investments, including strengthening the specialization of commercial courts, where the Institute of Judicial and Legal Studies works to provide specialized training based on the best local and regional practices. Under the agreement, the Institute will provide training experiences for judges in the areas of traditional banking, Islamic finance, insurance, real estate, and digital transformation, and will also provide relevant training experience in commercial contracts across multiple disciplines. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs held a Ramadan diplomatic reception in honor of retired ambassadors and diplomatic and administrative staff from the ministry in recognition of their efforts in serving the Kingdom of Bahrain at the local, regional and international levels. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, delivered a speech in which he highlighted the role of the Bahraini diplomats under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa since the beginning of the Kingdom's diplomatic march five decades ago, with the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, and the advisor to His Majesty the King for Diplomatic Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. He also valued the role of retirees in promoting Bahrain's values and principles through their posts in the kingdom and abroad. On this occasion, the minister announced that the establishment of a special office in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to follow up on the retired diplomats and administrators and meet their needs for services inside and outside the kingdom, in addition to offering many other services. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs expresses the Kingdom of Bahrain's denunciation and strong condemnation of the burning of copies of Holy Quran in a Swedish city by extremists, which is considered a provocation to Muslims and a grave insult to their sanctities and incitement to hatred and violence. The ministry stresses that such abhorrent practices that contradict freedom of religions and beliefs and coexistence should be strongly condemned by the international community and efforts should be made to devote the values of tolerance, coexistence and religious freedom and to combat the ideology of extremism, fanaticism and exclusion and to prevent abuse of religions and beliefs.